ball? Should he raise? What should he do right here? I'm all in. All he in. goes all in, Vince. That's what he does. A very gutsy play. He no is doing around. it. No fooling around. He has gone all in again, this time against two callers. Chris is going out. Oh, look at mom and wife there, Vince. They are suffering far more than he is right now. That's 11. That's 11,000. Phil Helmuth that's with a king, 10 of diamonds. There you go. And what's going through Phil's mind in here? Do I want to gamble here? He's got chips. He could afford to do so. Does he think the short stack in Brian is making a move here? One other factor Phil's going to think about is Muhammad is still in the pot behind him. Now, this is fun. We know with the WPT cam, Phil is dominated here by Brian. Ace-10 versus King-10. We also know that Muhammad has a king in his hand. Oh, the strength of chips. Oh, and he's going to push Phil out of this. Well, his wife and his mom clap. One down, one to go. And now it's going to be on Muhammad, who's got a king jack of clubs. Do you want to call? Whatever. I want to double up, so do what you want. Well, Brian says do what you want here. Look at this, Mohammed wanted him to talk a little bit. He got him to talk. He's calculating the pot odds himself. He sees he's getting about three to two on his money, trying to see how many chips he's going to have left if he calls and loses this pot, which would be about 150,000. All right, Michael. Now look he's at this. He's gambling. He's going to do yeah. it, Vince. And you know what? One of his kings we know is out. It's dead. Vince, I got to tell you, this is a very nice play here by Brian. He calculated he had the best hand before the flop, I think. Decided to move in. A, his opponents might not call, and B, if they do, he might have the best hand, which, in fact, he does. Put an ace out there. Put an ace out there. He's a pretty nice favorite here. Let's see a flop. Oh, heartbreak. Jack 10-9. Oh, oh it's, that's big for Muhammad. He's hit the pair of jacks. Brian quickly stands up. He knows now he's going to have to catch an ace or a ten, or he's going to be out of here in sixth place. What a horrible flop for Brian at this point. Here comes Fourth Street. Muhammad's got his fist out there. And that's not going to help Brian. Well, he dodged it on Fourth Street. He's got to dodge an ace or a ten here. Can he do it? Here comes the river. All right, let's see the river, please. This is the cash card. Can Brian survive? Oh, no. no. The jack comes up. Brian is out. Brian Havison is going to be our sixth place finisher, a gentleman, a great player. And right now for sixth place, it's 117,000. And now we are down to five players. Stay tuned. We'll be right back from Foxwoods on the World Poker Tour. I'm all in. to Foxwoods and this record-setting stop on the World Poker Tour. I'm Shauna Hyatt, and here's an update on the action. Weight loss guru Brian Havison went on the ultimate diet. Oh, heartbreak. Jack 10-9. Uh, losing all his chips to poker pro Mohamed Ibrahim and is the first one to leave the game. The five left fight for a million-dollar share of the $3.1 million payout. We are down to five now, Vince. Next player out is going to take home 164,000, but remember, the winner takes home over a million. We started with 313. We now have five. Action's going to be on the kid, Chris Ackerman. He looks at a four deuce. He folds. A Centile, who's played very tight so far, has got a king queen in his hand. Well, that's a pretty good hand in a five handed game. Caught. But he's just going to call it. Yeah, he takes the conservative road. He just calls. Phil Helmuth with a 5 and 10. Woolworths is not going to play. Gets out of the way. Hoyt looks at a queen deuce offsuit. He opts to fold. Now, Muhammad, who has an ace 5 in this pot, is just going to call. Well, he's got respect for Centil coming in the pot. He opts not to raise it with his ace high. Here comes the flop. 
A66. Oh, look at this. Muhammad's hit his pair of aces, but he's quickly going to check this. Sintu quickly checks right behind him. Here West comes Fourth Street. It's an eight. It does not help Sintu, but look, once again, Muhammad's checking. Sintu also checks. Last card coming up. It's a seven. Now, finally, Muhammad's coming out of the woods. He's going to bet a little bit. It's 20,000. Now, Centil's wondering here, is this guy stealing? You know, if he has no pairs over there, Centil knows his king-queen is the best hand, but... He's only got king-queen, but you talk about table image. This guy is a rock. They do respect him, but he's not going to call this. Nope, he opts to fold. Muhammad picks up the puck. Well, that's, I sense a little nervousness on the part of Centil here. What do you think? I don't know. He who hesitates... But I'll tell you, this is a rock. He's a tough poker player. By the way, his wife, who he plays gin rummy with all the time, suggested that he play this tournament, and here he is, final five at Foxwoods, going after a million. My name is Santil Kumar, and I live in the San Jose Bay Area. By seeing the World Poker Tour on TV, my wife started watching, and, you know, she liked the show. <laughs> and then my wife kind of had a hunch, you know, so why don't you try this? My wife's hunches are normally very good. Tio said, if I had my dream job, I'd just be a housewife. I'd like to stay home and take care of the kids, so... Well, it's not a bad life. You know, you hey. play a little poker on the side, and then you house husband the rest of the week. It's not bad. You no. ought to think about it. I, 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 I do it. That's me, too. I'm right with him. I'm right with the house husband thing. There you go. All right, back yeah. on the action here. Sintil Kumar picks up a 10-5. Unimpressive hand. 10-5 of clubs. He folds. Now Phil Helmuth picks up Jack Eight of Clubs. Kind of a creative hand. He puts a chip on the cards. Looks like he's getting ready to do a raise here. And he is. It comes in for thirty-six thousand. Nice solid raise. Phil raises to thirty-six thousand. Cowboy's going to go out with seven deuce. Now here's Mohammed picks up a nice hand in the small blind of two eight. Call. Call. But just opts to call Phil. Now it's on the kid, Chris Ackerman. He's got a 10-5 of hearts. It's a 10-5 suited. He's already got some money in the pot. Yeah. I'm a little surprised he would call with this hand. Because he's a pretty tight player himself, but he opts to call with the 10-5 of hearts. Well, he already had some money in. He's going to take a shot. We're going to see a flop. Three-way action. A flop comes queen 9-6. And Mohammed still has the best hand with two eights, but he checks. And look at this, Vince. No, say it Chris so. Ackerman is going for chips here with absolutely nothing, Seven. folks. He's got a red 10 and a red 5 in his hand. He's going to try a play here. A stone bluff, 75,000 bets on absolutely nothing. In the meantime, Phil Helmuth, he's got a straight draw and a flush draw. And they told us to call him Phil Helmuth. We know that the whole poker world knows him as Phil Helmuth, so I thought you're going to call him Helmuth, is well, that it? Well, you know, I, what, no, don't get tricky on me here, Mike, okay? <laughs> it's Helmuth. We've been well, knowing Helmuth for years. Now are you getting fancy with his Helmuth? Well, let's see. Let's Appar apparently that's the way he wants his name called, Vince. What can I do? Yeah, let's just call him Phil. Raise it. Phil is going to raise. In the meantime, Phil is raising it to 150000 he is doubling the bet. Now, remember, he has a straight draw, an inside straight draw, and a flush draw. Now, Muhammad, who had the best hand because we saw it with the WPT cam, the pair of eights is going out. Well, Chris has got his hand caught in the cookie jar here. He's just stalling here. We know he's not going to play a 10 and a 5 after getting raised. He throws it away, and chalk one up to Phil there. Nice play by the champion, Phil Helmuth. It was, nice. it was nicely played by Phil, Vince, but i got to tell you, you know, if you allow Phil... Helm youth or helm up, oh, either don't one you do want to it call again, him. please. You know, if you allow him to dictate tempo and make these raises and not re-raise him before the flop, you're playing right into his hand. I'm just glad Mo didn't flop a set on me. You're right. I'm you know what? I'm impressed by the spunk of this kid, Chris Ackerman, 22 years old, betting right into the champion. Well, you're right, Vince. He shows a lot of heart. His timing was off on that play, but you have to admire the heart he has to make a bet like that with nothing. Here we go with the action. Once again, it's going to be on Phil. And look at it. He's getting very chatty. Well, he's getting a little confident here now. He's on a little roll here. Takes a look at his cards, and he's looking at an ace jack this time. I'm going to raise. 
He's going to raise it, he says, Vince. Oh, he's going to use the momentum. Let's see how much he raises. 150, I think. You guys have about 150 each. He's looking at the two guys on his right and says, You guys got about 150 each, do you? He's not in the greatest position in this hand, but he's coming in strong with the ace jack. Comes in for the speed limit, 55,000, he bets. And right next to him, Hoyt's got an interesting hand. He's got ace 10. And what a good lay down by Hoyt right there. He's quickly right, laying it down. Muhammad throws away a jack seven. And now we're around to Chris, and he's picked up a pair of vents. Oh, Two fives. He's got the speed limit. He's the campus kid, and this time he has a real hand, wired fives. Now remember, he's on one of the short stacks here in this tournament. He's only got about 150,000 left. Well, look, if he can make a huge raise before with 510 off suit. What's he going to do with fives? Well, Chris Ackerman having a decision here. He's not going to call this. Nope. He folds the two fives there. And look at this. Centille has picked up two queens. And he's going to go all in with that. Centille, the Calcutta cardsmith, is going to push it all in here, Mike. You can't blame him. He's on the short stack. It's just what you're looking to pick up in this stage. A nice hand to put your chips in the pot with. Exactly 100,000, right? Centille has the real queens. What's Phil going to do? Well, certainly look at Centille's face. It's a man of confidence, it looks like to me. Oh, big smile. Can he sweat this out? Well, I don't think I have the best hand, but it's going to be pretty hard for me to fold. I'll tell you that. He's got a point there. Well, he's getting over two to one on his money. That's what he's evaluating here. You might have two tens. He says you might have two tens. That's what he's hoping for. But he is going to call it. He doesn't, Phil. He's got two queens. And that's not a great look for Phil right now. So we're going to have ace jack versus two queens. Will Centille's queens hold up? Or will he be our fifth place finisher? Stay tuned. We'll be right back from Fox Woods on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We are watching Centille with a pair of queens all in against ace jack. Will Centille's queens hold up, or will he be our fifth place finisher? Here comes the flop. Flop is 8-8-3. Eight, eight, Centille stands up. He knows all he's got to do is dodge an ace now. Can he do it? Fourth Street coming up. It's a nine. So far, he has dodged it. One more card to go. Here's the river. Centille has doubled up. He's won a nice pot here off Mr. Phil. And Phil Helmuth just looking a little depressed there, just looking down at his chips. Well, the Dr. Phil of poker took a little blow there, Vince. If he would have had 130, I could lay it down, you know. It's just so close. Yeah. Now he's trying to tell everyone why he did it. <laughs> he could have had a pair of tens. He could have had tens easily or nines, yeah. yeah. Sintil Kumar, though, is going to take this spot, and that puts him right back in the action. Vince, this is the largest poker tournament the World Poker Tour has ever had, bar none. It is pretty incredible. This place is massive. I feel like a pinball in a giant pinball machine, but there's more choices here than I know what to do with. Who are you kidding, Vince? You haven't left the poker room yet. That's a good point. But Shauna Hyatt has, and Shauna Hyatt is going to talk more about this phenomenal resort. If you're in the mood for big-time gambling and first-class accommodations, then Foxwoods Resort Casino is the place for you. Foxwoods is the largest casino in the world. We have seven separate casinos here, 24 restaurants, every amenity you could possibly imagine, every gaming opportunity. We have three hotels. It's just a little city in and of itself. People come from all over the world to check out this little city that measures one mile from one end of the casino to the other. They don't have anything like this in Arkansas. It's a great place to win some money, but with a layout this large, you're bound to lose your bearings. I got lost maybe 30, 40 times. Each time I try to make it to the poker room, I have to ask at least three or four security guards. Whoever said bigger is not always better, obviously has never been to Foxwoods. 
It has been a delight to be here all week. Lots of gambling fun.